Hi there everyone, hope you're all well. Right, we'll start with a, we're using a fun zany set tonight called Zany Zebras. Brand new from the new catalogue. I've just noticed that's come off there. So, um, yeah, I just want to get a feed on my phone. I'll just make sure who, who's here. Just bear with me, but I can't see videos now. Right. Just get a feed up and up. Oh, hello, whoever's there. All right, lovely. So here we go. So yeah, we're using the Zony Zebras set tonight, and these are the brand new in colours that I want to show you. Um, right, let's see if I remember them without having to look. So we've got Magenta Madness, is this lovely hot pink one. Uh, Cinnamon Cider. Just Jade, I think. I'll, I'll look in a minute. Bumblebee is the yellowy coloured one, and then we've got misty moonlight just got to check i think i've got all them right yeah just joke yep so yep i only had my inks uh, a couple of days actually but all of my main order yeah luckily somebody lent me some but um my order actually only came yesterday but yeah i had great fun i was desperate to get my zebras i had great fun with these hi susan hope you're well so yeah they've got all the five cars and this the Paper uh, is the in colour paper stack that I've used as well. And I've just it comes in. It's, I'm just trying to think. There's four designs I think. So you've got your spots, you've got your wood grain, uh, whatever this is, just a, like a textured background, and then some writing, which is oh there is a bit of English, mostly German I think. Yeah, leave it. Yeah, German, English, whatever. So hey Andrea, how are you? Vivian, hello, how are you? Oh I can wave. That's a new feature. <laughs> right, learn something new every time on Facebook. Right, so yeah, we're doing just going to make one of the cards tonight because they're all the same. I'm, I'm going to go for the magenta one because I love the hot pink. All right, just put them aside. Oh, I'll show you the other card if I knew what I'd done with it. Yeah, the other card we're going to be making is, and I have to say it's a semi case from Erica Kerwin. Kerwin, never know how to pronounce her name. A US demo. She came up with this design. And I've copied it basically, apart from I've added the, our lovely um, glitter paper, or uh, glimmer paper, sorry. It's um, rainbow glimmer. I'll show you while I'm here. It comes in a big 12 by 12. Look at that. Look. Just check it is called glimmer. Yeah, rainbow glimmer paper. You get two two pieces in a pack. And so it's up to you what you do with a little piece. But yeah, you, you can create an ombre effect if you cut it that way. Or you can cut up a little bit. And the excellent thing about it is, unlike... Me. Unlike our previous glimmer, which was pretty good compared to some glimmer papers, this, oh, they must have coated it somehow. It's not quite as glittery as the other one, but I can rub and rub and rub, and the glitter does not come off. It's absolutely fabulous for that reason. So anybody who has a phobia of glitter or doesn't like it, you'll be fine with this. Thank you, Vivian, for the compliment. Um, yep. Rub and rub and rub and it doesn't come off. So that's what's fabulous about it, I think. But yeah, not quite as glimmery as before. Maybe maybe that's because it's coloured, I don't know. But it still catches the light lovely and glimmers look, you can see it glimmers. So it's still amazing. So that's why I wanted to use that because I thought it's, and I'm just gonna turn some lights on because it's getting dark already. I do believe we're gonna have a thunderstorm very soon. It keeps rumbling, so I'll put a little bit of light on. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to use that. I'll do that one, sorry. And this one, but we're going to start with this. Uh, so that's that. So fairly easy cards to do as usual, aimed at beginners, but just wanted to use my new inks really more than anything. And I think what I'll do is I'll sh just give you a quick test. No, I'll do that afterwards maybe. I think I'll just go in with the Magenta Madness first. So using our shimmery white, well, this is the stamp set, but I didn't show you that, did I? I don't think. So you get three zebras, one is kicking his heels up, and then you've got your lovely sentiments. It's time to celebrate, wild about you, happy birthday, kick up your heels, and you party animal. Hey Nancy, how are you? So yeah, fabulous set for adults, I think, and for children, all sorts. Just, yeah, fun, fun, zany, wacky cards you could make. I love it, and it reminds me of the zebra at Madagascar, so... And he's very funny, so lovely fun set. All right, sorry, I've waffled enough. So we'll crack on. So we're gonna to create this background with the ink. 
it's just we're going to use our aqua painters right no I, i'm calling it an aqua painter because i still have got the original aqua painters but we actually do have a set of new ones out but i haven't purchased them yet but the excellent thing about it is they have come down in price and you get an, and you get an extra one so the aqua painters before i believe you got two in a pack for about 16 pound they have now come down to i think it's 11.75 for a pack of three and they're all different uh different widths so you've got one a wide one and so i will get them yeah a wider one and a thinner one and then a really thin one so i will be purchasing them i just didn't get around to it i'm just checking yeah and i'm using shimmery white cardstock because we can do watercolor on that so without further ado so yeah i can thoroughly recommend buying the new brushes because so they're a lot cheaper and a lot better value shall i say than they were before so hey sandra how are you well i've got a new way i don't know if that works it says wave so i am right so now i would normally when i'm i would use my reinkers but unfortunately you can't get hold of the reinkers of these at the moment but you do have to be very careful not to get water back into your ink pad but i'll show i'll just use kitchen towel so i'll have some kitchen towel by my side anyway just in case we have a a leak not that we should so a little bit of water so quite so you can see i hope you can see how pink this is and we're just going to go in and just do some they like zeds really that's what i thought i was aiming for just some some wacky stripes really and i'm trying to get them quite light because then i will go over them again and yeah you can just have fun with this really with your inks and, a, and an aqua brush or aqua painter so um yeah so then i want to go in over again with maybe some smaller squiggles maybe just a little bit more concentrated the ink just to get it a little bit darker just to create some different texture and different patterns really but yeah i hope you can i mean you can see just very easy to do the most difficult thing is knowing when to stop really with while well, it is with me i'm going to be covering quite a bit of that up anyway so uh, i think that'll do as i say i really do need to learn to know when to stop so now i will admit with this magenta madness it is um it does stain quite a lot so it does will stain my brush it will wash out under a tap just about but as long as it runs dry or runs clear sorry the water you'll be good or you, could, or you could clean it on your stamp your stamp and clean the thing beside me but yeah so it, it looks pink but it is actually getting quite clean so I don't, oh and i shouldn't have done that because i said just so because there's a little bit of water in there i would just dry that and then we know we're not going to get any water in our ink pad but that's where the reinkers are very handy for that job when we can get them so that's basically it really just going to mount up all the bits and bobs so get the glue so there's really nothing difficult about these cards tonight It's all about just having fun with the new products and new colours. Hello Simon. Are you not working? She'll wave to you as well. I can't believe you've got both dogs in your office with you. It's hardly big enough. Oh, let's need that centralised. 
Right. Mount that up on there. Easy as. Yeah, we've got some a lot of papers this year that have got um I think it's called playful patterns with lots of lovely patterns on, but unfortunately the colours in it didn't go with the ink colours, so I didn't I couldn't use them. But then I want to use my inks anyway. And that's it and just now I've got to do the zebra and I actually have already stamped one and I've coloured just the, where the black is you see I've coloured in with the appropriate stamp and blends they've now brought them all out in the in the in colours except bumblebee because we've got yellows and oranges that are very similar so we've got new uh, dark magenta madness and light magenta madness I think I used light just to do the stripes just so it's, I was just doing that while I was waiting to start really so I'll show you how to stamp the other ones. It's easy, just stamp him with memento as usual. So just gonna fussy cut round him. There are no dies for this for this stamp set. So what have we all been up to today? I know some people have been for bike rides. Didn't the heavens open earlier on? Oh, I had to rush out and get my washing in. I'm, sorry, I'm not sure whether we're going to get another storm tonight. So it's up to you whether you want to go individually and cut all into them. I haven't tried it yet, but I think I'm I'm gonna I like the white space. I did cut in a little bit though, just there. But I'm sure I will try it to see what it looks like. They are very cute. Dog walking. Oh, no rain. Wow. Oh, yeah, we had it. Oh, I don't know what time it started. About three o'clock, was it? Maybe a bit earlier. The heavens opened. We've had thunder. I'm not sure we've had any lightning yet. I'm not complaining because that saves me water in the garden. Oh, well done, Susan. Little bike ride. Excellent. I must admit, I'm quite desperate to get out on my bike. Haven't been. Well, I did do a quick ride Sunday, but that was only 15 miles. That was a very quick one. Quick and short. Oh my gosh, isn't that strange? You're in only in a slight less than 15 miles away and you've not had much. Well, I can tell you in Kings Lynn we have. There we go, nearly there. A little bit fiddly around the tail, so it depends on how far you want to, how fussy you want to be. I know one day I'm just going to cut the tail off. It's going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> Bound to once. Haven't done it yet. Always a first time. Right, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to go too fussy. Alright, I'll need that. 
and we need a sentiment so got a little piece of three I think this is three quarters of an inch yeah so I'm going to use my trusty new punch the lovely labels well actually I'll stamp it first so I'm just going to go with happy birthday on this one vivid that is I love it right yeah make sure when you if anybody doesn't know with our new ink pads make sure that you they do snap shut make that noise because look if you can see sometimes you just do that and it's still open a little bit I don't know if you see it see it's not fully closed and then that means your inks can dry it. So just make sure you hear that snap. Like that. And then it's fully closed. Just a little tip there. Just you don't want your inks drying out too much, even though although you can obviously refill them with the ink refills, but uh, so lovely labels, three quarters of an inch. We'll go with that one. Oh. Don't always Sandra, I don't know why you're messaging me. I can't respond to you while you're while I'm on a live. Well, I think that's going to be a bit too long, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Let's start off, cut that off a little bit. should be all right hi Laura how are you where to you got a new feature all right so I'm just gonna stick that on and zip on so I've used glue for this And then I'm going to pop the zebra up on dimensionals. Take a tool. the edges mm, I'm going to just leave his legs color dot so in my box here I have all my relevant embellishments we sell these boxes though the stamp cases obviously that the yeah the either the double sets come in or the wooden the wooden ones just come in we sell these at the back of the book and they're absolutely ideal for storage so I'm gonna go with them these are lovely as well new it butterfly um embellishments butterfly gems Oh, no, let's put them down there because they're going to go everywhere. So, just get a Yeah, I love the pinks as well. So, 
Susan, as you know, I know you're a pink person and I definitely love pink. And it is a very hot pink. There you go, it just finishes it off. Put that back in there. So that's number one done. And I still haven't got into the routine of finishing them off, have I? I need to do that. I really do, because otherwise they don't get finished off my cards. And then I'm left with a huge stack of them that I need to do. Right, so it's that one done. Now for the fun of the next one. So this one is about building the cardstock layout. Um, it's absolutely ideal if you've got lots of scraps. <laughs> no worries, Laura. Yep, yeah, absolutely ideal for using scraps. It's similar to the scrappy strip technique that we've done, and I was going to do it with this actually, and I probably will do in the future, but I didn't tonight. But yeah. Just lots of scraps. Right, put that there. So to start off with, we need a base bit of card. Just as long as it's just shorter than the width of your card. Look, I think it's about 130 millimeters. I I measured it to. So I'm going to use my silicone mat because no, then it, if any glue gets on it, it will come off a lot easier. And we're just going to line them. I haven't used rainbow colours. I've used all the in colours. Even though, yeah, they're, even though they're kind of rainbow colours in the glimmer. So, but we're just going to layer them down. Just a bit of glue in the middle, enough to gum on the cardstock. We want them at a kind of an angle. Just overhanging that one. Hi Elaine, how are you? And again, a little bit of a gap because we're going to be putting the rainbow glimmer over the top. So. Um, I'll just put that more of an angle, I think. You just want it to look a little bit, well, a little bit zany, really, just to match the zebras. Like that. And a blue one at the end to cover it. As I say, that kales off, and you just want to measure it up against your card that it's all going to fit on. If not, I'm going to have to. Well, I'm going to be doing some cutting anyway. Right, so just going to wipe that. That's it. I still need it because I've still got glue on there. So yeah, I'm going to carry on. Put the glimmer, but I'm going to put, put that up on dimensionals. So we start with this one. Probably only need two in the middle, I think. Hi, Annalise, how are you? Well, this one just had a heavy. Come on, nice winch. Oh, heavy storm, right. Yeah, I imagine it's coming. It's, the sky is very grey. As I say, hopefully it'll then clear the air for tomorrow. So we're going to pop that up over the top. I've just cut these. I think these are about 100. I'll put them on my blog tomorrow. Oh, they're 105 by but just over 2 centimetres or 20 millimetres. Yeah, it's ideal. Ideally, just for his, I did. I did actually cut these, but ideally, if you've just got scraps left over, to use your scraps. I'm good, thanks. Well, yeah, I am. I've felt a bit poorly the last couple of days. I've had a sore throat and um, just felt a bit tired. So I don't know if I've got a cold coming, but I'm okay apart from that. Just going to keep 
flatten it up and I think we'll have a yellowy one at the end to offset the duller colours, slightly sombre colours. Yeah, thanks. Oh, well, I've been. Oh, yeah, I had my feet up this afternoon. No worries. Just doing a little bit of work. Nothing. I don't overdo it. That's for sure. Um, I'll flip. Oh, I don't know. What do we reckon? Mm, no. Do I have to flip that or make it the same? No, we'll flip it. I'll be. Right. There we go. And we've got quite a bit of that left over. Now here comes the fun bit because you think, well, that doesn't look anything like the original card. But this is where you go in and you just cut it down a little bit at all different angles. So let's start with this one. And then that one. the green underneath obviously every card is going to look different because it all depends on the angles and how short you cut it yeah mine's looking quite different from the original one but I'll go with it let's cut that and then we'll cut that there. As long as it's going to fit on the card. That's it. Yeah, it's a lovely background. So it wasn't my idea. It was Erica Kerwin, Serwin. Um, but yeah, I did like the idea of adding the rainbow glimmer to it, though. This is tricky. Let's see if we can get in this one. have to be careful not to cut the other one underneath because maybe there's an easy way to do this but I haven't found it yet <laughs> yeah it is lovely the sparkly the, the rainbow glimmer and lace is lovely We've not had it before it's brand new to us we've had gold and red and lots of other colors and silver I think black but never rainbow so I was very excited when I saw this yeah it's looking very different from so yeah a little bit fiddly I suppose you could say but it's just like getting in there you could I guess um cut you cut it down before you start but then you wouldn't really know how long you know that just about fits so that's good so that's a little bit different from the original but they are they are going to be different every time really if you think about it so I'm guessing I'll we'll just glue that down I don't think I glued them no I didn't glue them down but I'm going to put a little bit of glue on them bit of a squeeze and so you could cut it down if you need to if you need to cut those edges down you can do obviously these are raised up anyway so there we go so now we've just got to do the zany zebra who's kicking his heels up and oh, no, I absolutely love this one so we'll do stamp him in black memento Uh, here he is. Oh, and then you're gonna have to watch me cut it, cut it out again. Excuse me. So 
in with the light again you could use dark if you wanted to but yeah I really can't wait to make some more cards with this it's a shame our other animal outing set went because they were well, they'd have gone brilliant with this like zoo animals rhinoceros and I can't think what else was in it now, but there was like farm, oh not farm, sorry, zoo animals, oh giraffe, hey Catherine, how are you, so just do his um, mane and his ears a little bit, Oh, and his nose. So, as for the other one, just got to quickly cut him out. As I always say, move the paper or the cardstock, not the scissors too much. It's going to be one of, in one of my Top Tips Tuesday videos that I did. I've started a, a new series. I don't know if you've seen it. I did a, a video this morning and posted it to YouTube. Yeah, I'm going to be starting a series of just general tips and things really to help you all. So if there's anything people want help with or want to be want to see, morning I show people how to put the labels on our stamp sets so although there's instructions on them sometimes it's nice to have a visual of people somebody doing it so if you want to learn how to do that go to one of my videos that says top tips I think it says top tip Tuesday number one Oh, good, Dawn. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Just want to be, yeah, just want to help people really get the most out of all their stuff and make it easy for people so you don't struggle. Coming up for the tail, which is always going to be a little bit tricky, but just go with it, curve it round. Oh, that was easier than the last one, I think. Yeah, nearly there. And the thing that I absolutely love, it's only a very small stamp, but it's the little ground stamp that shows them. Um, I won't be doing it on this one because you won't see it, but it's a, it's just fabulous because you can stamp it underneath and it either looks like a bit of shadow when he's leaping off the ground. Or you can just do them standing on the spot on the shadow. I don't think I did it on the other card, did I? I didn't. I forgot to do it. I thought there were free stickers in the box. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. No, they're stickers. Yeah, once you put them on your stamps, Nancy, they then, or they make your stamps so they cling to the blocks. But we used to have issues before where the, where the stamps just didn't cling to the blocks at all very well. So they, they redid them basically. And yeah, so look, like this one, you can see they're, they're just very clingy. They will not, like, I can pick up my finger and it clings. It's, it's got like stickiness to it. 
and yeah and i would advise or i should have said that on the, do not leave them out overnight because they can get too sticky i mean they will come off but you have to be very careful to get them off so yeah they also, they're firm on they're firm enough to stick but not too firm that they will stick forever but they certainly don't come off while you're stamping on your project so that's very helpful because they used to sometimes so yeah I'm just going to glue that on. I think oh, I did it on. No, I did it on dimensionals, but I think I'm gonna glue. Oh no, I not. No, I need to do the sentiment first. I've already got. All right. Just gonna cut a small one down at half to half an inch. This is our paper trimmer, which uh, cuts and scores at the same time. Yeah, exactly. And you see what the stickers are. So yeah, you put the stickers on, you know what stamp set you're using. So that's what they're there for. Oh, here comes the rain. Right, so hopefully this isn't too tight. Half an inch. So, yep, that's half an inch wide. I can feed it through that again. So we're going to kick up your heels. I don't know whether you can hear that or not. You're just going to have to excuse it. I've got to have the window open because it's just so hot and muggy. I love hearing the rain, personally. Here we go. With a... Do you not, Annalise? Oh, my gosh. I bet it's coming your way then. Hopefully not, but you. it can't be far away. You're only about a mile away from me. Maybe a mile and a half, two. Yeah, no, yeah not much more than a mile, I wouldn't have thought. So that yet again that's not closed properly. Look, just to just make sure it closes. Snap. Uh, cut that down a little bit. And feed it in again. Feed it in. It's strange, isn't it? Yeah, we had the thunder, I say. We've had the rain several times, but it's so refreshing. I love it. Right, we're nearly there. So I'm going to glue that one on, definitely. I think I will pop him up on some dimensionals. Hi, Neil. Little tool. Oh, yeah, this is the... Um, oh, I never get the word right. I've pick a tool or something like that. It has different ends. So this one, you take it and it's got like a spatula end, which is very good if you make a mistake and need to get your cardstock up. From a, yeah, with the glue you can like slide it underneath uh, so that's one end this has another end but I don't know where it, this is like a putty end so you can pick up sequins and stuff it's a little bit sticky and I think there's another end but I say it, I keep it like this most of the time I think it might be an embossing tool actually now I come to think of it but yeah it's very very handy And we'll just have a few little bits for his legs. Oh, I've cut them already. Sorry if you can hear that. Can you hear the rain, everybody? I could shut the window up, but... So, yeah, he's going to be kicking his heels up. Bit. 
because he's having a fun time. There we go. So, yeah, that's the original. So it's a little bit different, but so they are going to look different every time you do it. So, yeah, that's it. So, do you want me to show you the inks? I think I will, just to show you, you know, so you can get some idea of what they look like. I know you can see them on the cards, but so we'll do a quick scribble of them on some card stock. So we've got some shimmery white again. Um, put that there. So I should have bought, perhaps bought some inks up to compare them, but so you've seen what this colour looks like. So I'll just go a quick, quick last. So oh, probably not enough water in there. So obviously, depending on how much water you apply, you can get a nice light wash just like I did before although it's going to walk my pad down a little bit squeeze a little bit more in and um, just go over and get a little bit more depth to it if you want to so that's magenta madness so these colours will be around for two years, the in colours, they do a two two year rotation. So the ones that were new last year, it'll they'll be around for another year and then they'll go and then another one, new five new colours will come in. And I'll spread that around a bit, never mind. Right, so now we're gonna do Bumblebee, which basically is a very bright yellow with a little tinge of orange, I would say. Is, I, I won't lie and say it's very similar to colours we've had before, so other yellows. But they are slightly different from the ones we've got at the moment. Well, I should say it is slightly different. So that's that. Now, another one of my favourites, Cinnamon Cider closed up again haven't I and I shouldn't put it away with the wet lids but as I say strictly speaking I normally would use the reinkers on a on a block and then you don't have this problem of the water going back into your lid so what can I call that so, yeah we was all thinking it might be a bit like our baked brown sugar that we used to have but it's not quite it's, a, it's an orangey brown really like um not an ochre, I don't know what to say it's like, but it's it's, it's nice, it's it's just um, kind of gingerbread-y colour really. It'd be good for Christmas for gingerbread men, if we get gingerbread men. The occasion craze is pretty good for that. So if you can create nice cards just using a watercolour effect, you really can. Which I was going to do, but I thought no, I'll be a little bit more creative tonight, I'll try. So that's Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade. Hey Leslie, how are you? I'll be interested to know if this wave button actually works, what people actually see. It's only here we did have rain, oh, it wasn't cool. Oh dear, oh, well, at least you missed the rain, Laura. Hope you're feeling better now. I must admit, I was going to have a kit this afternoon because I wasn't feeling great, but it didn't happen. What with phone calls and one thing and another, but hey ho, hopefully I'll sleep well tonight. This is lovely. Look at this, just jade. No, I, yeah, we haven't had a green like this, I must admit. Not a jadey colour, it's really lovely. Is it quite. Yeah, but it doesn't look, I don't know if it looks, it doesn't look very green on your screen or on my screen, it doesn't, it looks a bit bluey. It's definitely green. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. <laughs> um, I could probably tell you, yeah, it's, it's near the back of the book, obviously, where all the embellishments and stuff are. It's where I think it's probably where the cardstock is, Laura. 
but yeah, it's fabulous. Two sheets for oh, for the little for five pound fifty, I think I'd like to say something like that. But obviously, you only need little bits of it. You don't need to use huge amounts of it, so it can last you for a while. And last but not least, Misty Moonlight, which is a lovely shade of blue. It really is. It's a bit like Dapper Denim that we used to have, a little bit. Not quite as dark, I don't think, from what I remember. I could be wrong. Yeah, it always looks pretty fabulous when you do a colour swatch like this. You can go in a little bit darker. And that's it. That's your ink colours. Your new ink colours anyway for this year, for that one, for the next two years. And I have to say, I love them all, which is un unusual. I don't. There's usually one or two that I'm not quite keen on, but... Yeah, I can safely say that I love all of these this year, so I will be using them a lot. Love them, yeah, exactly, Leslie. I love them as well. The new ink colours, I think they've they've done a, a great job this year. Yes, it really have. And no doubt we'll be seeing them in the shops in all the clothes and everything, because they generally are, aren't they? When when our ink colours come out, they generally do follow through, follow suit in the clothing aisles and handbags and whatever, shoes. You really do try and keep on trend, stamping up, do So, that's it really. So I'll just bring in the cards again with the Zany Zebra set. I'm done with the other ones. I've got lots of cards now. So I've got to finish. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's one of my dogs. Scared me. One of my dogs has managed to open the door. Oh dear. Hello, Daisy. Bless her. Right, so there we go. I can't all get them all on the screen. Let's just flick. Flick back. Flick back. Right, there we go. So, yeah, thank you all for joining me. All, and I hope you all like them. But, yeah, your ink colours are fabulous. They really are. And so is the Zany Zebra set. Hello, Daisy. <laughs> She's come to see me. So, yeah. Um, yeah, thank you all for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you next Tuesday. All being well. So, thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye.